Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel, Ask MCT Chris. In today's session, we're going to look at how to embed Chat GPT into our Power BI desktop. I hope you'll stay around, but before we start, let's watch my intro. I have here my Power BI desktop open, and this is just pointing to my localhost SQL Server and getting the data from AdventureWorks DW. And what we wanted to do in here is to first embed a Power Automate so that we can call ChatGPT. Power Automate is an integration platform that if we wanted to integrate one platform to another, we need to have Power Automate to connect to a connector. If you read through the documentation of Power Automate in here, we need to add first the data. So in this case, I'm going to choose here the calendar year, and I'm also going to choose the English product category, and also get the sales amount from the fact reseller sales. After I have chosen the data, I am now going to click on the ellipsis and go and click on edit and I will be redirected to the Power Automate Designer. Once the Power Automate Designer has been loaded, we can now create our Power Automate by clicking on the new and we're going to choose the instant cloud flow because we're going to embed or trigger the flow once we click the button in the Power BI desktop. Then we'll add the new step and the step that we're going to add in here is an HTTP request step that will call the OpenAI. So I'm going to choose HTTP choose the HTTP premium connector and then we will now configure it by choosing the method of post and then getting the URL of our OpenAI. So I'm going to open in here a browser. I'm going to type in OpenAI to go into the OpenAI website and I'm going to go into the developers and then choose the API reference and then from there I'm going to go into the completion and I will copy that URL and then I'm going to paste that in the URI text box making sure that there are no extra spaces in there. After doing that we now type in the headers going back into the documentation these are the headers that we need to type in, the content type, and also the authorization. So I'm just going to copy the content type, go back to my Power BI, place that in the first header, and type in here the value, which is application JSON. And for the second header, that would be the authorization. So I'm going to copy the authorization, place that onto the content type and the value in here would be the word bearer and also your API key. After now passing those headers, we are now going to pass the body. And going back into the documentation, this is the body that we need to pass on, which is this part in here. So we will just copy that part and then go and place that under the body. You will see that we are now going to use the DaVinci 03. This is the prompt. Say this is a test and then we will just increase our token in here and I'm going to increase it to 1500 and then let's just leave the temperature to be zero. After placing the body now, it's now time for us to add the new step. 
the new step is we're going to parse the return value of this request and that would be parsing the JSON so we will filter and look for JSON and then look for parse JSON choose that step and then the content that we're going to parse would be the body of our HTTP and then what we need to do in here is to generate a schema so if you look at it this is the parameters in here and this is the response this is what we're going to parse so we need to copy that response and then go back to our power bi generate from the sample paste that return value of the response and then click the done and that will now create the schema so once we have now parsed the body, it is now time for us to return that parse JSON into our Power BI desktop. And in order to do that, we need to create a data stream. So if I am in my Power BI service now, do not place it in your My Workspace because direct query will not read that data stream. It is important that we create a new workspace. In this case, I'm going to just name it demo. And then once that workspace has been created, I can now create here a streaming data set. And the source would be from an API. And then click on next. And then you name your data set. So I'm just going to call this streaming chat GPT. I'm going to create one field in here and I'm going to call it answer. I'm going to leave it as a text data type and we need to turn on this historic data analysis and then hit the create button and that will now create a streaming data set. Once we have created that, we can now go back into our Power BI desktop and continue configuring our Power Automate. So the next step in here would be to add rows into that streaming data set. So just look for Power BI, filter it, and then click on the Power BI and look for Add Rows to a Data Set. And then in here, choose the workspace where you have created that streaming data set. So I'm going to choose the demo. And then you should be able to see in here that streaming data set. And then for the table, there will always be one table created in the streaming data set. And that is named real-time data. Choose that real-time data and it should be able to detect that we've got one field in here which is the answer and if we click on that answer what we need to place in there is the text coming from our parse JSON why, why will we choose the text because going back to the documentation this is what we wanted to be to return into our uh, streaming data set. So after doing that now, that should be all good to go. Name your flow. So in this case, I'm going to name it as um, chat GPT and then save that. Once it has finished saving, you click on the arrow to go back to the Power Automate Designer and click the apply so that this will be embedded into the button that was placed into our Power BI desktop. We now go back to the report to be redirected to our Power BI desktop. This is now the button for us to instantiate the flow. So all I need to do is just make this smaller and then we're going to add a connection to our streaming data set. To do that, go into the Data Hub and then choose the Power BI data set and then choose your streaming data set and then hit the connect. If you will have an error 
connecting to that data streaming data set, then that is because number one, you have created a streaming data set in your My Workspace and direct query will not work on that. The second reason why you cannot connect to that uh, streaming data set is because you have not installed an on-premise data gateway where your local um, SQL server is installed. It is important that you install the enterprise data gateway of Power BI rather than the personal gateway because you will see in here under the status we've got there the Power Apps and the Power Automate that will connect to that streaming data set and also Power BI. So leave that running in the background so that this will not error out. So I'm going to choose those two and then I will uh, include the tables added later and then I will hit the submit. Another way if you get an error just accept that potential risk is you need to configure the preview feature of Power BI for the, the, the direct query. You can find that going into the options and settings and options and then go into the uh, preview fixtures, make sure that the direct query is turned on. After you have all set that up, you will now have a connection to your real-time data and then I will just embed that answer field onto our Power BI desktop. And of course, it is empty for now. Let's test it. So basically, you press the control key and then click on the run flow to trigger the power automate. Once that has been triggered, we will wait for a few seconds and then what we can do is we can hit that refresh button and we should be able to see an answer from the streaming. And there you go. This is indeed a test because what we have placed in the content of our Power Automate was say this is a test. So what we're going to do now is we're going to edit our Power Automate and then embed the data that we wanted the chat GPT to analyze. So edit our Power Automate by clicking on the edit and then in the HTTP, we will now change what we have placed onto the prompt because we just said in here, say this is a test. So I'm going to change this to say, uh, please analyze my Power BI data. And then we need to pass in here the Power BI data. And that's it. Save and apply. Click the arrow. Hit the apply. And then click the back to report. And then let's test it again. Click the control key. And then hit that run flow to trigger it. That has been triggered. Let's double check the Power Automate if it has run properly. Let's refresh this. I've got my chat GPT in there. Status has been succeeded. Let's go back to our Power BI and let's refresh that. And I'm expecting an answer about our data. And there you go. Let's see what Chad GP said from this data, it appears that the sales of bikes have increased significantly from 2011 to 13 with a growth of 100%. Accessories and clothing have also been seen an increase in sales with accessories increasing by 200 and clothing by 40%. Components have a smaller increase of around 50%. Overall, it appears that the sales of the product categories have increased from 2011 to 13.
And if we look at that, it has indeed increased as it goes through each of those years. And there you go, embedding chat GPT into our Power BI desktop. I hope you've learned something from this session, and if you enjoyed it, please hit that like button and please hit that subscribe for more tips and tricks from me. Thank you for watching.